So I'm here with Nicola. Um, we have made it to Kenya. Woo, 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 yeah. it's so excited to be here. We're getting set up for a medical camp. So Mary and Mo, who we're here with, they've raised over, I think, five grand. Um, yeah. And it's going to pay for a medical camp. And it's the first one that they've done here in over a year. So we're expecting big queues. And We've already um, got a queue started over yeah, there. Yeah, already got a queue, so we'll show you that in a sec. It's going to be a busy, busy day. So excited. So um, let's take you around to school. Might as well do that while we're waiting. So over here, this is where the teachers stay. They stay here, um, I think they come on the Sunday night and then they leave again on the Friday night. So they've got, their main homes are like in the city. We've got pre unit, kindergarten and the baby class. And then over here is the conference centre, which was the first part of the school that was built. Teachers Daisy told me yesterday, I think 11 kids used to come to the school to start off with and that's where they all were. And then there's also this, so these are the old classrooms. Yes, yeah, so these are the old baby class. Alana helped paint this the last time yes. when she came with Katie. Woo, show your handiwork off. Yeah, so um, turned this into a library. Yes, we've got the new library here. I don't know if you can see the writing on the wall. I can't tell. The sun's too much on the camera. Alana, are they more um, classrooms? Yes, yeah, so these are kind of middle school classrooms. And then we've got the tank, that's where they get their water. And then the moves the family tree. So. We've got some hands that we know on there, Alan and Katie said the last time, so hopefully we'll get a chance to put them on as well. I've seen it in the ER. How are you doing, Mary? Well, I'm handing out Alan at all the toothbrushes um, that we put on for the UK and that we donated. Yeah, we're not. 
Say hi, Nat. Hi. <laughs> oh my God, we're finally here, and the mural is almost on the wall. Yay! Finally got a generator, got the generator. There was no petrol. We got the petrol, and then you know, finally we're here, and it's almost done. Right, here's our masterpiece for the preschool at the museum. Zebra's on, and we have a lion, a giraffe, and an elephant. An elephant. <laughs> Some letters. What are you doing? Just chasing around it. Yeah, chasing around it tonight and then we're going to work on it for the rest of the week. Painting by numbers and just getting all the colours on it. I'm going to be the director. This is Maria. I haven't, she's not on camera yet. Say we hiya Maria. Oh hi. Hi Maria. <laughs> Maria made it. Maria designed Maria this. Designed so how do you feel about seeing your mural come to life? Amazing. Looks really good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know! Nicola Mo, what are you guys up to? I'm doing the zebra! And we saw zebras today! Yes! <laughs> Alana, how are you finding it? It's going good! Yeah? It's so awkward having so many people on at the same time! I know! <laughs> shadows! Hashtag shadows! What are you doing, Ali? So those of you who are here, you left all the desks along the corridors. Without any instructions from any teacher, I just saw these two girls taking the desks back to the classes. And I promised them each a lollipop. They don't wait for it. This one is yours. And they did it all along. They carried all the desks up to the class. Good. And then also Alana, who is also returning as a test. We have two, like Mo Sara, the runner. <laughs> and we've got Nicola, who is Alana's sister. And Mama Cake. So this is my mum. Uh, Livia as well, who is my friend, my Rafiki. Um, Anne, who is Alana's mum and Nicola's mum. And we have Natalie, who is also our Rafiki. So thank you, and we look forward to the next week. We'll have a good week, guys, yeah? Woo! Woo! <laughs> you have to work? Uh, you have to work? Uh, but before we go, what do you tell them? What do you tell them? After the medical camp the other day. Yep. <laughs> Peter. Yeah. It's all it's all coming together, isn't it? Good, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning everyone. We're back at the school today starting work on the mural. Um so I'll come over here and let you see it so far. 
Look how great that looks. So, yeah, this is going to be the hard work for the day. Um, we've spent a bit of time with baby class this morning. So, we read a story um, out to kindergarten um, about a lion who just wanted to be loved. <laughs> and then um, Nicola and Nats are in with pre unit just now, reading some letters from a class of rainbows back in the UK. This afternoon, I think. With more painting, so I'll touch back in later on this afternoon. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Hello! Uh, we're now on day five. So today we're focusing mainly on this lovely Muriel that Maria created. So from the previous vlogs, uh, it's coming on really, really well, isn't it? Oh, mural, mural, not Muriel's wedding. It's a mural. We're all getting it wrong, not just me. Um, Alana, what are you doing just now? I'm on the hill. Hi. Painting the little sunshine. I think the plan is we're leaving the animals to last because we need to mix some colours. We're getting back into the swing of it. Primary school's quite a long time from, out, from when we've done it, so I think we're having to mix to make like browns, etc. Um, I don't know if I've shown shown you, this is part of like the community behind me. Can you see the houses? Yeah. That's enough from me now, but um, I'm sure we'll be vlogging soon. Right, they're trying to do the mass eye dance here. I genuinely think they just look like a chicken. Good morning from everyone here at Mimusi School. We're on day six. Uh, we, oh, we've got such a packed day today. So we came really early to start work on the mural and I'll we'll show you that in a second. We also are given um, some of the donations that we brought, some of the clothes, so the little ones, the shoes, uh, pencils and that. We're giving all of that out to those who need it today. And we also have the some of the families coming for the rolling water barrels today. So um, between us we managed to raise money for I think 12. I think it was mainly Kay and Mary that raised the money, so um, certain families are coming in to collect a barrel today. This afternoon we're doing some more escape room with the older kids, and I'll vlog that. Yesterday's one with the teachers was hilarious. So funny, it was the ending that was, it was hilarious because Peter had his poacher outfit on, running around the school, <laughs> we're all running after him. So that was great. That man is fast. Um, so we'll have more of that today and then after we finish at Mimusi School we're going to a Maasai community to um, have a visit, see how they live and learn a little bit more about the Maasai. So I will vlog that if I can um, and show you a little bit of actually what it's like to live in a Maasai community. So I will keep you in the loop as we go through the day. It is a busy one, so lots to see, and I'll catch him with his later. Yeah. Right, ladies, how he's getting on? Amazing! Look at us coming together. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, we're just getting a bit high on paint fumes. High on paint fumes, I think. It's amazing. Who needs shots in um, Kenya when you've got this? Improvisation. <laughs> Look at all the animals. Go and show them Nelly, the elephant. Show you Nelly the elephant. Oh, oh so cute. Yeah. Do you know the giraffe? Mm -hmm. um, Leo the lion. 
Right. So gonna be sexist on this wall. Leo the lion. And, and, and the lion the Zulu the zebra. Zulu the zebra. Yes. yes. Zane. Zane. Zane the Zane the zebra. Yes. Right. So Zane the zebra. Leo. Leo the lion. Gina the giraffe. Yeah. And Nelly the elephant. Yeah. Okay. They've all came to town. Oh. They packed a trunk. Look at the layers. They're the coming country. along good. Off they went to music school. <laughs> and that's the perfectionist. <laughs> Got to be straight. Yeah, they look so good. He's the longest, yeah. The longest. Yeah. Mum, how are you getting on with your giraffe? What about the lion? Alright, but I think I'm going to be around it. Lion is 105 days. Yeah, we'll get you more paint. Just three months. Look how cute no, Nelly ball. looks. Yeah. He's everyone's <laughs> favourite. No, Nelly's they have jumped into Uganda oh, again. Yeah. If they have young Do you ones, sure you it please. encounters Gina. the male. Right, okay. If it does not so, father to the cubs, it will kill the cubs she's and fine. start its own mating. She's fine. <laughs> the fact that she's not a Maasai giraffe. Yeah, apparently she's not a Maasai giraffe. What kind of giraffe well, is she then? Only Peter knows that. I feel a UK giraffe. So Peter, what kind of giraffe is yeah. Gina? Gina is reticulated giraffe. <laughs> it sounds like a ridiculous giraffe, doesn't it? Yes, reticulated giraffe. Ridiculated. Is that it. an actual type of giraffe? Or are you just making it up? That's a unique type of giraffe. A unique, unique for this wall? Yes. Okay. <laughs> is Leo a real lion? Yeah, he is in that book. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how we got all of this in the six, seven, eight suitcases um, through the airport because this was only half the suitcases that we brought but um, yeah, this is all going to be getting handed out to the local community so everybody in the school today is going to get something to take home uh, whether it's a new top, new colouring pencils, a new backpack, even sanitary towels um, because they don't have that out here so everything today is going to go um, and be used in the community um, I'm going to dish it out through the school, so I can't wait to see all these faces. Who's got the pick? Yeah, that's it. Hi everybody, um, as part of the fundraising we managed to um, raise enough money to also get 12 water barrels for some of the families of the school. Uh, so Sam is just going to bring them out just now and we've invited 12 of the uh, children's mothers to come and collect them. So. Uh, they're all arriving just now. Some of them have been waiting since 8 o'clock this morning and it's now, what, half three? Half three, so they've been waiting a long time um, and this is something that's very, very important to them, um, just providing water for their family and um, you'll see in a minute, uh, the barrels basically uh, allow them to push their water along the ground rather than having to carry it on their head, which is very, very heavy, so this is a very good moment. <laughs> everyone. So before us came out here to Magadi, I set up an escape room. Um, yesterday we did it with the teachers and today we're doing it with some of the older class. So they're in here right now. Um, they have been at it I think for the last 10 minutes. Um, they've all managed to untie themselves from handcuffs, which is stage one, so that's good. They're now on the Sudoku um, and they've never seen a Sudoku puzzle before, so they're having some fun. This is the aftermath of all the donations 
Lots of empty cases. Nothing in them. Okay, get the mural legs. Mazzy, how are you feeling about it coming together? Oh, it's looking awesome. Really tough. Hi guys, hey. I'm just taking some time out with Katie, um, we're winding up for the day. Yeah, much needed time out. Today's been a very, very long one, so while everyone's cleaning up, we have stepped out <laughs> um, just to kind of just reflect on the day and the week, um, just take some time out to just have a chat with you guys and say, you know, we've been here before and why we've come yeah. back and what change we've seen since we've come back. I think, you know, the, the first time we were here, and it's it was about 18 months ago now, and, it, you know, as soon as we went home, in fact, actually, still when we were on the trip, really, we were kind of saying, oh, we've got to come back. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. hear that a lot from the volunteers. Now we're actually saying, yeah, next time we come. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we did, and we went home, and, and here we are back again. And you know, for me, I wanted to make sure that, and probably, I, I yeah. don't know for you, but I would imagine you want to show everybody that you know back home just how amazing this place is. And we've kind of lived it vicariously through everyone mm -hmm. else. Totally. Um, We're on the sidelines, like, yeah. kind of knowing what's coming and know what to preempt, but yeah. being able to see those guys' reactions to just even the kids singing yeah. or um, like you got a bit emotional today. Oh my God, and I've seen it before and I, I know mm. that kind of thing happens, but it just grips you. Year on year, they're building more classrooms here, more kids are getting to come to school and then graduate school. And, you know, it's not just the kids that benefit, it's the families back home that benefit as well. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's, it's almost like you can just in the past 18 months, it's, it's changed, it's thriving, it's, it's fantastic to see. And, um, and some of the kids still remember us as well mm -hmm. from the, the last time, it yeah. just blows my I mind. I didn't even think that. And it's mainly because, obviously, when we come out here, there's so many kids, so yeah. under getting their names right and stuff is a bit of pressure. And they put you on the spot. Oh, they say, what's gosh. my name? Yeah, oh, they I do put remember. you on the spot. And it's the worst feeling when you get it wrong, isn't oh, it? Oh, no, God. Um, but when you're... Um, you know, they come out and they just shout your name and things, you're just how do they remember that? Yeah. I was only here for a week and in school for four days last, like, yeah. 18 months ago. How do they remember? But they remember because they look forward to visitors coming. Yeah. They love visitors. Yeah. Wageni. Wageni? Wageni. That's Swahili for visitors. Learned something new this yeah. week. Um, oh, our, our Swahili <laughs> is pretty good this time. I know. You come here once and you're family for life yeah. and that's what I really like about the Moose Foundation uh, and the whole scheme around being a visitor mm. and being a volunteer is always to come out here extend the family mm. extend the reach out to people across the world yeah um, and, and it's funny because remember Bernie said to us last time he said you know I feel at home here mm -hmm. I feel at home here this time yeah. you know it's so yeah. true well, you started about what we've been up to this week oh what have we not done what, um, well, I haven't had an Andos this week. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Main task was the mural, and you'll see a lot throughout yeah. this walk of the mural. Um, escape room. Oh my gosh, this just, ah. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know who's done an escape room before, but I mean, we get right into it, yeah, like love right them. into it. Love them. And, and so Alana had this idea that we would bring it out here and, and, and I've seen it before we came out and I thought, that is genius. Yeah. And just, you know, it was, well, you, you, you know, it's, it's a bit ropey yeah. to pull off, to be honest. But yeah, the highlight for me was the ending. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> the ending of the escape room leads with Peter, You've probably seen him throughout this vlog. In a convict outfit, because he's pretending to be Peter the Poacher. Hashtag Peter the Poacher. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he runs around the uh, the grounds here, yeah. and the kids have got to try and find him. And then catch him. And catch him. Yep. And that was pretty hilarious. Yeah. The man's fast. Yeah. The man is fast yeah. to the point that the 
the kids were struggling to catch up with them. He brought a lot of donations um, across from the UK. I genuinely, when we opened all that out and, and had it all out on the tables, yeah. I have no idea, utterly perplexed as to how we got them. Airport. I have absolutely because no clue. That was about four times the size yeah. of what we had the last time. Oh yeah, massive. It's yeah. crazy. And every kid got something in the sale today. Yeah, even if it's a yo-yo, pencil, you know, a game, Top. every kid got something. Yeah. And I'm proud of that. Yeah. I think everybody should be proud that every kid got something. Yeah. So we're here at Maasai Village. There's one of the homes. Wave at the video. <laughs> Look at the little ones. Oh, hello, do you want to hold my hand? Yeah? Hi, yeah. Okay, we can hold, we can come. I'll walk with you. Come on in. The cutest little thing. Yeah, the males, they are just looking for food and animals and babies. And this one? Yep, that's my watch. Yeah. Okay. Good morning everyone, so we're here at Mimusi. Um We are getting ready for Thanksgiving, can you tell by the music in the background? <laughs> and we're also doing some class photos. It's like musical statues all over again. Gordon, Stacey. So you need to say hi out of the camera. You need to say hi. Hi. <laughs> right, guys, you're going to say hi to the camera. Hi. Huh? Right, used to. Right, this is Troublemaker number one and Troublemaker number two. So can you see yourself recording? Yeah? Right, so Timo, you're going to talk to the camera. Say your name and your age. Come on, come on. So what's your name? Tima. Tima? Yeah. And how many years? How many years? Eleven. You're eleven. And this one over here hiding is Namayan. Yes. You see? Yeah. <laughs> this one. How many years Namayan? Two. He's twelve. Yeah. No. Go on, go on. See all these happy faces? <laughs> it's recording. Recording you guys. <laughs> you can get it? There you go. What's your name? What's your name? Sharon. How many years are you? Ten. You're ten years. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Another animal smell. This is because oh. elephants happen to have a very poor fat digestion system, especially fats from other animals. You will feed them and secondly, at what age they became <laughs> and also what it had cost them to more the wild families. Both will come in longer time.
so that they can learn more from the world of families before they go wild. Once they have gone wild. He's coming to visit. He's coming to visit. 